Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Sunday Sauce Pot right here on your local public access television station. We're coming to you today from Bonner Springs, Kansas, where we're at the 2022 Renaissance Festival. This is going to be a great show, so sit back and enjoy. What does Renaissance mean? Um, I come here to drink. <laughs> Renaissance was a period of time in history uh, around the Dark Ages or a little after. Renaissance means a time of growth, flourishing, as I know it. It means you're you're a descendant of this from this time. Celebration of time and history and where the world's come from. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know the actual like definition for it's it. It's a time period in history. <laughs> Oh, it's the, you know, the age of creation from art and music and just life coming back to the world. Renaissance. Uh, it's like an era of time in the past. It was a period of time uh, somewhere around the 15th century in Europe where the medieval time came to an end and science and technology became more of the forefront as opposed to the church. New becomings and finding out. Without saying the Renaissance Festival, use the word Renaissance in a sentence. I don't even know what Renaissance means, to be 110. Wait, no. There you go. <laughs> you just used it in a sentence. Oh. I'm dressed like a Renaissance man. So, tis a Renaissance time for the church to discover new things of which they can do for the people going to the congregation. Renaissance is amazing. Hmm. Remember, remember back in those renaissance times. I go to the museum because I like to look at the renaissance paintings. I love going to renaissance things. Uh, there were much artisans in the time of renaissance. Leonardo da Vinci, the perfect renaissance man. Well, you see, did you know that the Middle East was actually going through their renaissance when we were going through our dark ages? What does doxy mean? Doxy. <laughs> no, like, because all I thought about was the Dixie cup. Not to go like to doxy see. clean? Uh, doxy, it's a kind of dog. They're a dash hound. They're really short and long. When their babies are called doxies. <laughs> I think document when I think of it, but something tells me that's not quite right. Can I use my phone? No. <laughs> is that your final answer? <laughs> no, I'll tell you what doxy is. A winch. No, uh, Department of X-rays, Yellowstone. <laughs> doxy? Um, it's a breed of dog. Yeah. Doxy means, you know, when you're coming back in with the ships and you're coming into the harbor and you gotta, you know, doxy up. A doxy? Well, that's clearly the thing that's right behind your horse when you're going down the road and you're on your cart and it's going, and the doxy keeps you where you want to be. You ever watch Harry Potter? They're these little things that live in the curtains and they're poisonous and they bite you and you have to whip them out and then poison them. I think of a whore, a strumpet. Do you think boys. events like the Ren Fest promote porta potty sex? Yes. I mean, I would never do it, but to each their own. No. <laughs> no. Ooh, now that's an. I don't think it promotes it so much, but. Yeah. No, no, there's plenty of people that would hear you trying to do something kind of fishy in the tub, so I, 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 don't, I don't think it does support such things. Heavens no. <laughs> I mean, oh, no, it does not. No We are way. respectable people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Spring condoms. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you know, people gotta get creative. You, if, it, if it ran later, then maybe I would think it a little bit more. I mean, you serve alcohol, you have porta potties. I think it's bound to happen. <laughs> you know, I can't say that it promotes it, but it definitely happens there. 
Oh, absolutely. Without them, we couldn't even manage. Have you had porta potty sex? I can neither confirm nor deny that. Let me get back to you on that. I'm still trying to find out. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> that one. We like hygienic. We like it clean. Well, sometimes. Anyway. For someone who has never been to a Ren Fest before, how would you describe it to them? Funny. Elf ears. Funny how? Like a clown? Does it amuse you? It amuses me, yeah. An amazing experience. You don't want to miss it. It's a different environment. It's not what you're normally used to. It's, 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 just, it's just its own thing. Fun. It, she says it's fun. I have to tell you, I am amazed of the costumes, of the food, of the different games. The talent. It's wonderful, uh, very enjoying, everybody's happy, lots of really cool, unique art, uh, local, handmade, uh, just stuff you can't find in the store. A bunch of nerds dressing up and <laughs> enjoying, fantasy. yeah, fantasy stuff. Lots of shopping, lots of food, great entertainment, and just a great time. The atmosphere is just always the best. I would describe it as a bunch of people dressing up really weird with their hanging out, you know, but it's fun. It's the ultimate people watching experience, but it's also a place where you can be the biggest buffoon you can possibly be and you'll just fit in perfectly. You're going to have a hell of a good time. You're going to come, you're going to be dressed and you're going to get drunk probably and then you're going to go watch the joust and then go home. Make sure you follow Sunday Sauce Pot on YouTube and Facebook. We got a lot of great shows for you guys. Really appreciate you tuning in and watching. Thanks a lot, guys. As always, who loves you, baby? I eat antipasta twice just because she's so nice, Angelina.